Yo, this is it on the place. Pokemon Soul Silver. We are in Utrecht City, ready to face off against the Kinemo Girls at the Kinemo Dance Theater in Utrecht City. But let's check out Hitmonchan. I've been leveling up quite a bit. He's almost 31. And let's check out his stats now. 71, 59, 27, 74, 52. It's pretty good. I also learned him some new moves. I used HM uh, Strength move for him. It's pretty good. I also used the TM Drain Punch. That one was really helpful for leveling up Hitmonchan, at least for him by himself. Drain Punch is a really powerful move. 60 power. It also heals the Pokemon when used. So uh, Pokemon was like normal Pokemon, just. It was impossible to beat Hitmonchan, he just withstood all the attacks and just healed himself all the time. It's pretty good. Problem with Drain Punch though, as you can see, it only has 5 PP, so use it wisely. Or bring a lot of Elixirs and Ethers with you, if you want to keep you doing it all the time. I still though did very well. Foresight is also pretty nice against Ghost Pokemon. You can hit them, you know, with fighting moves, so use Foresight on Ghost Pokemon and then use Drain Punch or Strength, and you do well. Now, one thing I forgot to tell you about, look at the bottom left on the ability, Iron Fist. Boost the power of punching moves. This one is super good for Hitmonchan, because he learns so much punches soon. Iron Fist increases the power of punching moves by 20%. So for example, Drain Punch has a power of 60, but with Hitmonchan it will act as if the power is 75, because it increases power by 20%. Or not 75, but you know, 13, 12, 12 power though, so of course it's not 25%, it's 20. But yeah, Drain Punch is getting over 70 power with Hitmonchan because of his gain there. So, for example, if the Drain Punch had power of 50, then have power of 60 instead. So, it's a pretty good thing. It affects all punches on all types, such as Drain Punch, Focus Punch, Dynamite Punch, Dynamic Punch, I think it's called, whatever. I love the punch moves, everything is gained, 20% gain as used by Hitmonchan. Pretty good. Let's not talk more about Hitmonchan because you want to go inside the uh, Eartrick City Dance Theater and let's see what the Kinema Girls are up to. They have summoned us. What do they want? Maybe they know something about the legendary Pokemon of Pokemon Gold and Silver or Heart Gold Soul Silver as we play now. And the Dance Theater is in here. So when you're ready, go inside. <coughs> How? How is this possible? How can I lose the Merakinema girls? You were watching me, Satano. Yeah, that's right. I never thought defeating five Kinema girls would be so hard. I got beaten to a pulp. You must have come here for the same reason, right? Don't get cocky just because you defeated Team Rocket. These Kinema girls are insanely strong. Go ahead, see if you can defeat them. But not going back, I don't want to, s want to see you win. What? He actually believes I'm gonna win? He actually has compassion for us? He actually thinks? He actually cheers for us? I thought the guy was like, oh, he's, you, I'm just gonna lose anyway. He probably would have said this. He said, he doesn't want to see me win. Oh, I guess finally Silver has admitted that I'm actually a very good trainer. Oh, that's a nice thing. When you're ready though, Go inside the dance theater. You'll be moving yourself into the middle one. Welcome! My name is Zuki. I met you previously in Violet City. In order to bring back Lugia, you need someone with the right bomb with Pokemon. We asked Mr. Pokemon to give his Mr. Egg to worm shove true potential. The egg was eventually handed from Professor Mr. Pokemon to Professor Elm, and then to you. However, being pure alone will not be sufficient to face the power of this Pokemon. I must test you. Are you ready? We are ready, but this is kind of shocking though. This means that the majority of events that has nothing to do with the gym leaders has been of the Kinma Girls. So the egg we got from Mr. Pokemon it was the Kinmo girls doing. They want us to fight Lugia. Oh, that was a bit shocking. Oh well, we'll fight them for sure. Let's say yes. I will test how closely you bonded with your Pokemon. And here we go. We have to fight all five Kinmo girls, and the first one will be Zuki. And the thing of Kinmo girls, they will all use Eevee Evolutional Pokemon. So the first one will be Umbreon. 
the new generation 2 evolved version of Eevee. You evolve to Umbreon by having Eevee gain happiness and then evolving over the night. Umbreon has low attack power, low special attack power, but has insanely high special attack and defense. Well, not special attack, but special defense and defense. So, Umbreon is the tankiest of all Pokemon Eevee can evolve to. I'll start with Surf anyways. If I had uh, Hitmonchan high level, I probably could have gone with him. And of course, tanky Pokemon likes to be annoying to you, so they want to use a lot of status changing moves, such as a Confuse Ray. I'll fight it off though. Feral get is confused. He hurt himself. And Umbreon will use Dark Pulse. On Feraligator. That's okay damage actually. I'll counter with a Waterfall. But Feraligator is confused. He hurt himself again. Umbreon with another Dark Pulse on Feraligator. On the Waterfall this time. He's still confused so... Well, finally he snaps out of it. Feraligator with a Water Pulse. He's gonna counter with a Waterfall on Umbreon. Umbreon with Dark Pulse. Whoa, a critical hit! Oh my goodness, that means a KO'd for Alligator. That's, that's really lame. Nothing much you can do about it. Could even do Scyther here with this uh, bug move. We could probably be good here against a tanky Pokemon like Umbreon. Still don't want to get confused though, that's probably the most important thing. Let's try Fury Cutter. It lands, it hits, super effective. And then another Dark Pulse. Do some damage, but I'll use Fury Cutter again this time. No, it will miss! Oh, that's one thing I hate about Fury Cutter. It doesn't have a perfect accuracy. So if you do miss, it's actually going to be bad for you. It misses again? Scyther, are you for real? Are you so bad right now? I can't believe I have to do this, but I'm actually going to revive for Alligator Prince. This, this is really shocking. I didn't know Scyther was this bad with missing. It's kind of like KO Scyther. I don't know what you can do about that. That was a bit shocking thing to see. Scyther, you suck. Missing twice on a move that is so weak in attack power. That's bad. Oh well, let's do Waterfall with Feraligator now. There we go. It lands. That's gonna KO it. We're gonna critical hit in the turn. That was a bit scary, but we do win eventually. Feraligator gets 8 on 1 XP, same with Hitmonchan. Hitmonchan's go level, go level 31! And this is a good level, look at that. Plus 3 defense, 2 attack. Now here's the best part, we're gonna learn the moves. First up is Thunder Punch. We're gonna learn it for sure. So let's take away Fake Out. So out with Fake Out, in with Thunder Punch. Ice Punch, we're gonna learn that too, for sure. Let's go with out with Foresight and in with Thunder Punch. I could also use uh, the next move, which is going to be a Fire Punch. But I actually can't, I don't want to learn it because I want to keep Drain Punch. Drain Punch is a fighting move we want to learn. We can't get rid of Strength yet because we need to get rid of uh, Agent Move. But don't worry though. So here it comes Thunder Punch, Ice Punch, and Fire Punch. So you can see all of them have 75 power, all of them have a special element, all of them have a secondary effect. Thunder Punch can paralyze, Ice Punch can freeze, and Fire Punch can burn. All of them really good, but if I have to choose, I think I actually will stick with Ice, at least with Ice Punch. Because Ice Punch is the Dragon Killer, you want to kill off Dragon Pokemon with Ice Punch. Thunder Punch is good against Electric, against uh, Water Pokemon. It's also good against flying Pokemon, but that's also what Ice Punch is for. Fire Punch good against Grass and Bug types. So it's a bit of a deep thing. I either will take Thunder Punch or I'll take the Fire Punch. But I think having Paralyze Effect is much better. So I'm actually gonna stick with Thunder Punch. But don't worry though, I'll probably learn Fire Punch later, so I'm just gonna give it up on Fire Punch for now. I don't have any Pokemon left! That was a long battle, that's for sure. Next one will be... You are quite strong. You helped me in the Elex Forest. 
My name is Naoko. I'm the one that knows the good directions. My eye witnessed you defeating Team Rocket when Kurt was in trouble at the Slowpoke well. Allow me to challenge you and your Pokémon. Please do. Next up will be Naoko, and she's going to use the opposite of Umbreon, which is going to be Espeon, the Psychic Pokémon. Just like Umbreon, you evolved to Espeon by leveling up with happiness. But while Umbreon was leveled up by happiness during night, um, Espeon is evolved by happiness during the day. I'm going to crunch. But, uh, Psychic... Oh, that's going to KO for Alligator, probably. No, it's going to survive. Crunch. That's going to do a lot of damage. Ooh, that was close, but I still survive, and I'm gonna do Hyper Potion now on Feraligator because Feraligator will get killed by the next psychic move. Espeon is the best special attacker of the EV evolutions. It was a bit frail though, it's a bit low defense. Espeon will do another psychic on Feraligator. How much damage will it do? I think I'll survive the next psychic, so I'm gonna do another crunch. Psychic like number three. Will I survive? I will. Special defense goes down, so next psychic will KO me for sure. Crunch on Espeon. That's gonna KO him. Nice. Well done for Alligator. You KO Larion. Almost level 40. You beat the Kingdom Girl Naoko. Oh, you're truly strong. That was close. Next up is this one. You are quite the trainer. I remember you chasing off that Team Rocket Grunt from right here. I must thank you for that. Although I'm actually a trainer myself, she who knows the most speaks the least. I am Mickey, the Kinema Girl. Allow me to change the challenge you and your Pokemon. So, we're we going to fight off against the three evolutional Pokemon from Generation 1. The first will be Flareon, the Fire Type. This is a good choice for us, using for alligator, because we can just go with a waterfall. If they're on this faster though, we'll learn a quick attack. That will be enough to KO us though, unfortunately. We have to revive for alligator again. I was hoping it would be faster than that, but that's fine. We're getting our own Flareon, and we're going to revive Mr. Feraligator. So let's use revive on Feraligator. It's been KO'd twice now. That's fine. Flareon will do a quick attack on my own Flareon. This one is much higher level, will do a lot more damage. But I do have strength though. Strength in numbers, what's that what they say? Flareon's pretty weak defensively as well as Espeon is, but has much higher attack power. So Flareon is like the attack power version of Espeon. Take the good damage to see if I can do it again. If I survive the quick attack though, I don't think I will. I do! Great! Strength number two lands. If it wasn't for the revive, I might actually would have won this battle with Flare on him, uh, himself. That's fine, I just want to be sure. Flare on goes down, unfortunately. But that's fine. We get in for Alligator again. And for Alligator, I want you to KO Flare on by using the waterfall. We get the first hit because Flare on is not faster than you. Quick attack was just getting priority. Waterfall lands on Flareon, critical hit just to be sure. And Flareon goes down, that means the third Kinema Trainer goes down, and we have two more to fight. As Feraligator is level 40! Well, plus 4 defense, making him much more tanky, that's for sure. Hit one chat, gets XP, and we bit Mickey! Oh, you're good at Pokémon too! I am. Now, who's next? That one. Excellent fighting spirit! He got me off by the eyes by pushing me from the back. I am the one who skates in sandals. I am Seyo, the Kinema girl. I was listening in the dragon stand when you passed the test of the Elder. Allow me to challenge you in your Pokémon. She faced up against Sayo from the Ice Path, and she's gonna use the electric type Pokémon, Jolteon. Not really a good thing about us using Feraligator, that's for sure. Do you wanna have Feraligator getting KO'd for the third time? Because Jolteon has good special attack and it's also very fast. So I actually have to do this in the counter way. Let's get an Ampharos. Ampharos in versus Jolteon. Jolteon with Thunderbolt on Ampharos. Not very effective. 
Now we can fight. I'll do the Thunder Wave on Jolteon. Jolteon with double team to increase evasion, which means I have a chance to miss my attacks. Let's see what Thunder Wave will do. Thunder Wave will not work because Jolteon has the Volt Absorb ability, which means all electrical attacks will do nothing against Jolteon. It will actually make him stronger. So don't do that. We could go with Tackle, though, of course. Jolteon with double team again. Which is going to make this battle even more annoying because Jolton is going to keep on evasion boosting and it's going to make my moves miss. This can just keep on forever. This might be a really bad battle for us, but we just have to keep on fighting, I guess. Like our final lance doesn't do that much. Double team again. This is the fourth double team. This is going to be a long damn battle. This is really bad. Really, really bad. To land the tackle though. Finally, Jolton learns the Thunder Wave on us, which makes this even worse, because now we have so high evasion and I am paralyzed. Tackle keeps landing though, know, which is pretty good. Jolton with last resort on us. That's good damage, but not enough. Our tackle lands. I'm glad we're getting a lot of tackles. Last resort again from Jolton. Oh, almost a KO, but that's gonna paralyze him. There's Gardner's though. Remember, Paralyze not electrical type of move. So I mean, Jolteon is now in the punishment move. That resort hits again. Amphros gonna get KO'd. I can't use electrical moves against Jolteon, so I have to stick with this. Okay, for Alligator, since Jolteon is not paralyzed, that means we'll get the first hit. Let's use Waterfall. It's gonna miss! But Jolteon is going to get paralyzed. Oh. I was so scared there, but Waterfall Lands, will it be enough to KO Jolteon? It will. Jolteon is KO'd. That was a lucky thing for us that we hit the Waterfall. And hit my chance, level 32. Oh, so close, I almost had you. So close, but no cigar, my girl. The last one is gonna be this one. I am the last one. You were so dependable at the Golden Rod Tunnel. I am the one who twirls even on the ground. I am Cooney the Kinema Girl. I looked at you in wonder when you twirled Team Rocket's mission to take over the radio tower. You must show your strength to me now. Allow me to challenge you and your Pokemon. The final Kinema Girl is upon us. It's gonna be Cooney. She's gonna use the water Pokemon, Vaporeon. Which is, in my opinion, this best of the Eve evolutions, even today. Because Vaporeon has insane amount of health. It has so much health, but it's not that great in defensive ways. So, especially in attack and defense, Vaporeon, Vaporeon suffers special defense and special attack is pretty good. Speed is so so. So, if you want to take out Vaporeon, you want to use a super powerful physical attack. Quick attack from Vaporeon. Doesn't do much damage because Vaporeon is weak physically. Crunch, you see the health is going really low because Vaporeon has so much health. Crunch again on Vaporeon. So far, so good. Aurora Beam, the ice type move. Special attack on for Alligator. Not very effective. I'll keep crunching. That's what we'll do to win here. Vaporeon is in the red field and it's going to reduce his fence even further. Vaporeon has to surf. Won't do much damage against Feraligator though, because I'm a water Pokemon myself. And the last crunch will hit on Vaporeon, and that means this battle is over. The first trainer was tough, but the rest was more do doable, but still an interesting battle though, as we beat Kinema Girl Kuni. Oh, you are wonderful! We were not wrong about you. You are indeed worthy of this. Please take it. And we get the Tidal Bell. Nice. If you play Pokemon Heart Gold, you will instead get the Clear Bell. Why you want to get different versions? Well, you will find out very soon. Big sisters! I just saw the big shadow of a Pokemon in the World Island's waters. It could be. Sitano. We'll be at the World Islands. See you there. 
Now, if you play Pokemon Heart Gold, the girl with a dead shot that she saw a big shadow of the bell tower. So again, now we finally have triggered the events to get Lugia and ho -Oh to spawn, because now that we have both the Silver Wing and the Tidal Bell, we can finally go and battle Lugia. Before you do that though, make sure you stock up on stuff. Stock up on Revive, stock up on Hyper Potions, and more importantly, stock up on Ultra Balls. Preferably as well, other type of Pokeballs that can be a good thing, such as the Heavy Ball, because these Pokemon are big and heavy, they will be having bigger chance to be taken out. If you need some of these big Pokeballs, get Apricorns, deliver them to Kurt, and that's gonna be your chance of getting these mighty Pokemon. So in the next episode, guys, we're gonna go to the World Islands, we're gonna go and attempt to capture the one and only Lugia. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook, and that's gonna be it for now, so I'll see you guys next time as my story of Pokemon Soul Silver continues.